Welcome back to Tada 3D Printing. So my benchies are piling up a little bit, and we found this cool benchy boat dock to organize them. This is made by Totally Ridiculous. I pulled the file into Prusa Slicer and started with the speed setting for the MK4. I added a color layer change so that the water will be a different shade, and then sliced it. With this profile, we're looking at a little over seven hours and about 135 grams of filament. But I do want to try input shaping to see what the difference in the time is. So when I swap to that and slice it again, I'm looking at a little over four hours instead, which of course sounds much better. It also is about 135 grams, so it really didn't change on the amount of filament used. But I wanted to compare what the different speeds are in these two. And you guys had mentioned in a previous video how to do a comparison. You just click this little gear button at the top. It brings up another little screen and you can choose which profiles you want to compare. It doesn't have to be one that you're currently on. And you can see all the different speed settings, the differences in that. The input shaping definitely has a lot more speed. 4,000 on a lot of things that on the regular profile are more like 1,000 or 1,300. Since this is not that complicated of a print, I go ahead and go with the input shaping. I want to see if this four hours will work. I do notice that in my time lapse, this is going so fast that it's almost kind of difficult to watch. Um, at first I thought it was the angle and then I forgot that it is the input shaping and it is kind of a large print. I mean, it's taken up a decent size of the bed, so um, it's moving very fast. The first filament was Prusa Mint PLA in Azure Blue and then we swapped to for the deck and the dock that it's going to be Prusa Mint as well in the Galaxy Black. Swapping out the filament, I have not had any issues on the Mark IV, MK4. Um, it just, it's very smooth, it's very easy to understand, and, you know, without the Bowden tube and everything like the XL, it's a lot easier to manage getting the filament in and out. Okay, let's see how it turned out. The colors turned out really pretty on this. I really like the Azure Blue. I kind of wish that it also had an option that has the glitter like the Galaxy, so I might look and see if maybe there is another option. But the print turned out really nice. I like exactly where we put the color change. I think was good. It looks exactly like water. I like the brick detail and the wood planks onto the, the dock. And the arches are great because of course there's no overhang or problems with the bridging on that. The ladder printed good, but I probably should have been more careful when I did a layer change because there is a little bit of filament still left. But yeah, I'm happy with this print and all of the benchies fit nicely. These are from the speed race that I did between all the machines on the left and the ones on the right. The orange ones are the different ones from the MK4, including the ones from the input shaping. I wish that the benchies fit just a little bit snugger in those openings, but they do, they do fit. It does work and it holds them in place. And I'm very happy with being able to print things with the input shaping much faster. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.